Okay, just to show you, this is what it looks like without the hand grips on it. And uh, with a little luck, I'll be able to show you in a few minutes or hours how the new yellow hand grips look. I think I have them in here. Oh, yeah, there they are. This is what they look like. Oh, got to go with the gloves. Cool. The install is complete. You'll see that this side, I put this piece that came with the bike on the outside of this bracket, whereas on the right side, I put this black piece on the inside of this bracket because I had to allow for clearance with the uh, brake fluid reservoir. And that's how they attach to the handlebar. And these four hex five, milli five millimeter hex nuts have to be tightened carefully because there is a rubber, uh, I don't know, bushing in there that will compress. So you need to make sure that this is checked after maybe a, a 50 or 100 miles. So that's how they look. I think they look, uh, they don't go with the bike, but that's kind of, you know, I want something high visibility. And they definitely, I believe they definitely stand out on the road. So one looks in their rear view mirror, they're going to see these. Again, this is how I uh, secured it to the bracket. And in other, in, in other installs, let me try this again. In other installs, this bracket was 180 degrees. In other words, this U was facing down. Now this U is facing up. But uh, in order to clear the uh, clutch cable, I had to install it this way. Uh, worked out pretty good on this side to clear the, uh, the brake uh, fluid reservoir and the, the brake mechanism. Okay, one thing I just noticed that the hand guards will hit the windscreen and I guess see they they contact here. And I don't know if that's a good thing to do have happen. So I noticed that there's another hole here that I could move the whole I could shift pivot the whole windscreen up and I'm gonna see if that'll can alleviate that problem. Okay now I shifted the windshield this screw had been in this lower position, so I shifted it to the upper position and rotated everything up or forward. And let's see how the contact occurs now. So now I could show the excursion. See, it hits both there and it touches. No, it doesn't touch here. That's I guess, I guess it's hitting. So if I were to grind away some of this right here, that might solve that problem. And I think I'm going to do that. Let's see what is going on on this side. Again, you can see the lower hole. I move this screw up to the upper hole. Let's see where this is going to contact. Okay, and this side it contacts on this portion of the hand guard. Get that again. Yeah, that portion of the hand guard. So I'd have to grind away, probably is a little bit on that, but then the ultimately it's going to be limited by there. So it's really not a perfect fitment, but as hand guards go, better than nothing. Using this uh, drill with this burr, I was able to modify, cut back the plastic in places to allow increased movement of the handlebars. So you can see here is where I cut it back and also here where the uh, windscreen impacts the hand guard. And I did the same thing on the other side, although the other side was in a different area, kind of a different, a different location. I hope that there's enough, uh, this gives me enough turning radius, it doesn't restrict my turning ability that severely, but uh, when I get on the bike tomorrow, I'll ride it, and if I can't make a left turn or a right turn, I'll, I'm going to take those hand grips off, and I guess I'm going to have to go with something made specifically for this model. These are just generic uh, 
I think they were twenty-eight, twenty-nine dollars on Amazon. 